What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Stevie the Black. Test T-E-V-E-E, the Black. I'm back, and I'm here to give you my Eagles and 49ers predictions video. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I, I forgot today was Wednesday. You know, I forgot today was Wednesday. I was, uh, I was taking out the trash. And, uh, actually, no, sorry. I was, I was in my room and my dad was like, yo, we gotta take out the trash. It's Wednesday. And I was like, it's Wednesday. And I was like, oh man. That means I gotta talk about these sorry behind Eagles, man. I'm like, it's Wednesday, bro. I'm like, I don't want to talk about them, bro. <laughs> I'm like, they make me so upset. <laughs> you know, um, I mean, I didn't watch the presidential debate last night. I should have. I should have. Because I, I, I watched the one uh, from four years ago when it was Trump and Hillary. And it was exciting. I, I totally forgot to watch the one last night. But Trump and, Trump and Biden was, uh, they was, they, they was about the box from what I heard. And Trump said something. He was like, bad things happen in Philadelphia. And I was like, hey, he ain't lying, bro. He ain't lying. Because this team right now sucks. And we got players on their Instagram talking about, y'all, if y'all not sticking with us, don't be with us when we start winning, bro. I'm like, winning what? Y'all suck. What are y'all going to win? We have the hardest remaining schedule in the NFL. We got the 49ers this Sunday. We got the Steelers after that. We got the Ravens after that. What are you talking about? I mean, we got a break. Because we got the, the, the Giants, but... Based on the way we playing, can we even beat the Giants? I, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I said it on my my NFC least. That's what I'm calling it now because this division's trash. I said it before on my NFC least report that this division is trash. That the Dallas Cowboys are going to win this division. So get that mindset ready now. Of the Eagles making some miraculous comeback and beating these teams because it's not going to happen, okay? Or maybe it will. Maybe it will. Why do I say that? Because the 49ers, I don't want to say they're just as injured as we are, but Jimmy Garoppolo is not playing. At least to my, not to my knowledge, he's not. George Kittle is, and that's that's a problem with our with our linebackers. Um Debo Samuel might play, so that's a, that, that's another problem. Richard Sherman's not playing though, so that that that's a good thing, you know. But maybe not because then two other people can pick off Carson Wentz because we should probably accept two more interceptions this game. Oh my gosh, Carson Wentz might be Jameis Winston. He might be the white Jameis Winston. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna call him Jameis Wentz. Does that even make sense? Jameis Wentz. Because <laughs> he, he's trash, man. He's trash. I don't even have a game plan for y'all, to be quite honest. I, I, I don't have a game plan. I don't know how the heck we're supposed to beat the 49ers on Sunday night. Oh, oh, and it's on Sunday night football in prime time. So the whole world can see us suck. <laughs> I mean... But the Eagles fan in me, bro, is like, well, wait a minute. This is the perfect opportunity for this team. Everyone thinks the Eagles are trash. Well, they are trash. Everyone thinks the Eagles are dying out. The 49ers are going to put the final nail in the coffin. And then that's when Doug Peterson and this team rise up and win. Maybe Alshon plays on Sunday. I don't know. He was practicing today again. Maybe he plays on Sunday. Quez Watkins is in a 21-minute, uh, 21-day period. Maybe he plays. I'd like to see what he has. John Hightower, he was looking good on Sunday. There were a couple plays where he was wide open. But uh, our quarterback didn't uh, throw him the ball. It didn't look his way. I mean, we, we got to give these young kids a chance, man. I, I know no God. I know no Deshaun Jackson. I mean, I understand, but it's not like John Hightower was trash. Winston did, just didn't look his way. He just didn't look his way. So, I mean, 
I mean, you got Greg Ward. He, he, he's good. We all love some, us some Greg Ward. I mean, we got Alshon. He might play. I, Quez Watkins, maybe. I don't know. Miles Sanders still looks good. I, uh, Jason Peters looked like Tread. I don't The defense is too inconsistent. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> oh. Shoot. And then the Steelers. The Steelers might actually be playing on Tuesday. You know? Because of the Tennessee Titans and the coronavirus problems that they're having. You know, it might be played on either Monday or Tuesday, which quite honestly benefits us. But one week at a time, one week at a time. And heck, who knows? Maybe we can catch the Ravens, you know? Maybe three straight wins. And then we got the Giants. That's four straight wins. And then we got the Cowboys and Zeke's going to kill us. And then we're going to lose badly. And then we'll be four and three and one. But then we go on to buy, and then we get the Giants again, and then we'll be 5-3-1? Shoot. <sighs> what I like to do as an Eagles fan is I like to be real, okay? See, I'm not type of one of these fans that are just like, no, come on guys, we can do it. We can still do it. You saw what we did in the Super Bowl year. You saw what we did in 2018. You saw what we did in 2019. Come on guys, we can do it. No, that's not me. I look at this team right now as it's constructed and I'm just like, bro, we are trash. We are playing like trash. Wentz is playing like trash. Doug is coaching trash. This whole organization is trash. We can't draft. Our drafting is trash. We may find a gem every now and then. Miles Sanders, Lane Johnson, uh, Jalen Reger look like he could be something. But I, I, I mean, Dallas guys are a good pick, but Dude's always getting injured every single year. <sighs> Excuse me. Y'all sure y'all ready to change Zach Ertz? So I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't know if we're going to win. I don't know. I really, 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 really don't know. Like, I really don't know. If we win, would I be shocked? No. Because this Eagles team has surprised me. Because every year the Eagles win a game they shouldn't win. Right? Right? That happens. They they win a game that they should not win, right? The Packers game from uh, last year. Uh, let's see, 2018, what was the game that they weren't supposed to win? Uh, Ooh, actually, I don't know. A game they weren't supposed to win. Maybe against the Rams, I guess. I guess the Rams are supposed to finish them off. I mean, the Rams did go to the Super Bowl that year. Um, so I guess we could say the Rams. Uh, then basically our whole playoff run, we weren't supposed to win any of that in 2017. So, I mean, but at least then I have some confidence in this team. I don't have any confidence in this team whatsoever. <laughs> I don't. So I'm not going to sit here and, and preach to you and say there's hope. You know, we, we, we can do something. Winch is just magically going to turn it around. You know, I, I, I look at clips on Twitter and YouTube and looking at the MVP, Carson Wentz. And I'm just like, where did that guy go? Where did he go? It wasn't a fluke. Maybe it was Frank Wright. Maybe it was Filippo. And Doug, 
I'm not gonna say Doug didn't have nothing to do with it. I'm pretty sure Doug is the rah rah guy, right? He's the rah rah guy. He's the guy that gets you together and and says, nah, come on guys, we can do it. You know, he plays the underdog card very very well, and and it works. It works. It's worked these past three years. It has worked, but <sighs> there comes a point where it's just coaching does matter, bro. Play calling does matter, and we brought in all these people to be innovative and to be creative, and we look predictable and boring and slow. Why do we look so slow? We still have not been the same since Tory, uh, since Tory Smith left us. Like we just have not been the same. And then injuries. Did y'all see the injury report today? It was so long. Well, did not participate. Did not participate. Did not participate. I mean, Miles Sanders didn't participate because of his butt. His butt. He had glute problems. <laughs> what? Only in Philadelphia. Hashtag bad things happen in Philadelphia. So I, I can't give you a score. I, I can't tell you we're going to win. We're probably most likely going to lose. Because it's the 49ers and they destroyed the Giants. They destroyed the Giants as if they were at full strength. I mean, the Giants do suck. And we suck too. But I, I, I do. <laughs> Doug said he wasn't benching Carson Wentz. I don't know. Part of me, part of me really wants to believe that the Eagles are going to pull out a win Sunday, but I, 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 I just don't know. This team is so trash. They're probably going to get blown out. It's more likely or not that they're going to lose, but my Eagles fandom in me won't die. It won't let me. It won't let me. It's like, yeah, but the Eagles, yeah, but Doug, yeah, but you know when their backs are against the wall, especially when everyone's watching, you know this, you know this. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. We just gonna have to watch the game. I'm gonna watch it with you. It's not out of the realm of possibility that the Eagles can win. But I don't wanna get my hopes up. We we, we just gonna have to watch and see, man. We we that's the that's the only way. We're gonna have to watch and see. I, I don't know. Maybe Alshon plays, maybe Quez plays. I, I, I don't know. It's very clear to me that Boston Scott is a third that well, we already knew that. Corey Clement is he's trash. He's done. You just need to cut that man. You need to bring up Elijah Holyfield and, and, and see what he got. You know, Miles Sanders can't do it all by himself. Um, keep relying on Greg Ward. I, 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 you still got Zach Ertz. <laughs> man. I hate this team, bro. I hate this team. <sighs> we just go out the way and see. I expect the Eagles to lose. I won't be shocked if the Eagles win. The Eagles fan in me won't die because part of me is like, I think they can do it. But you gotta wait and see. That's all I can say. Gonna have to wait and see. Sorry for this video being too long. It's been 14 minutes and 33 seconds. Uh, I'm gonna sign out now. And if you're not down with that, please let me guys know what you think is gonna happen in the game. Let me know in the comments section check down below. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, share the video, uh, spread the word, you know, 
And if you're not down with that, I've just got three words for you. We just suck. That's the new model now. Hashtag we just suck. Because we do. Dallas Cowboys are winning this division. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know it's true deep down. You know we're going to have a top 10 pick this year. And uh, <laughs> will it matter, though, because we can't draft? I don't know. Anyway, until next time, peace out.